uh, Dempsey called me in yesterday about 2.30 in the afternoon. He said that he had got the word from Franklin Freeman directly uh, that the governor wanted me gone, that he had lost confidence in me, uh, and that uh, they had called him the week before and told him that they wanted me gone, and he had ignored that, hoping they'd go away. But it was clear that they weren't going to go away and that it was coming from the governor himself. It's all because of the governor's belief or contention that uh, the department uh, vigorously opposed the mental health reform legislation. Governor, you've uh, said at your year-end news conference, you also said that uh, former DHHS Secretary Carmen Hooker Odom vigorously opposed the reform legislation. No one at the legislature remembers that. In fact, Representative Insco says the prime sponsor of the legislation says that isn't so. Were you mistaken when you said Hooker Odom vigorously opposed the legislation? Nope. The, our administration, that secretary, we all vigorously opposed it because it was, was just too broad, with not enough accountability. We thought it was dead. The governor's office was in a divot. They had, they had called our legislative liaison, who wasn't there at the time of the reform legislation, demanding if she could show some proof of, of, you know, of our opposition to it. The focus of the department today, and my focus, is on where do we go going forward. So I don't want to get into a big debate over who was for or who was against anything. What the governor was specifically mad about was that I prevented Carmen Hooker Odom from talking to you. They seemed to believe that she was set to talk to you and tell you that we vigorously opposed this legislation and that somehow I prevented that conversation from happening. Governor, Governor, you can't, we can't, if I don't call on you, you can't ask a question because then I won't come back to you because I don't reward bad re behavior. You know, I cannot believe with what you all showed. I mean, truthfully, there was not errors in the articles they were read right on. You showed, you know, it had all the elements. I mean, you had a huge amount of tax dollars wasted. Um, silly services that didn't help anybody. And then you had people who died or got beaten up really badly. And the only person who's really being held accountable is me. And my only sin was helping you. And I was doing my job. My job is to get you the public records, the things that are yours because they're the people's.